Hey guys, this is my second video here. Uh, this time I'll basically deal with uh, flashing the stock for your SBF via the RSD light. You may need to do that because uh, in case uh, you have uh, built your DeFi, or maybe if you want to give the phone back to the customer center, then you have to give it in the stock form. So you can use it that way. It's a fairly simple process. I'll just guide you through it. Uh, first step is you need to uh, wipe the phone if possible in the stock recovery, or if it is not opening in the stable recovery or the custom recovery. As you can see, I just booted the phone. The moment the blue LED comes, push the volume down button, it will get in the recovery mode. From there, go to recovery. This is the latest recovery here. Uh, in some phones, uh, you may get it as a custom recovery. They basically the same. Go to the latest recovery. There you may see wipe data and factory reset. Just click it and say yes, delete all user data. It'll delete everything. Just be patient. Yeah, it's done. And now next you need to do is by cache partition. Same way, yes. It will automatically delete it, wipe it. Yep, it's done now. Now the phone is all clear, you just need to power off it. You have the second option there, power off. In case you haven't got it there, simply take out the battery. Phone is off now. Now what you need to do is go into the bootloader for. Uh, for that, you just need to press the power button and the volume button together. Like this. And leave it. This is the bootloader mode. I don't know if I'm going to read or what written all here. But uh, this is what it will basically look like. I have not connected USB, so it's saying connect USB data cable. I'll just connect it now. There it is. The moment you connect it, it will say transfer mode is USB. As you can see, I'll just keep the phone now here. Now, what you need to do is uh, yeah. use RSD light. I've put that in the description below the link. Simply install it and open it. And you need to go to the stock SBF. That also it's given in the link below. Just uh, browse to it, click open, and just to start. It's it's a fairly long process, takes about 15 to 20 minutes on average. Be patient, it will do everything. It's a complete uh, software update. The screen will flicker and all. It will say software update in progress. Just be patient. It's at 25%, 27%, 28% now. You can actually see the progress window here. So you don't need to actually worry. It'll in its first phase it'll go to a complete hundred percent and then again it'll do a hundred percent. The second time it does hundred percent, the phone will boot.
it's at 90% now still in the first phase there it's 100% first phase is complete now it will again start doing from zero this is second phase Now as you can see the screen will just flicker as you enter the second phase. Status will show the phone is being rebooted. You have reached approximately 15% and uh, you can see the Motorola logo here. In the second phase the phone is being rebooting. It's reached 40% and you can see the Android logo here. 46% keeps on uh, continuing. The Android logo is here. Around 90% uh, you will get the notification bar. That's what I've noticed. <clears throat> Although sometimes uh, around 100 is reached and then the notification bar came. So that's all cool. Just be patient in this process. There, as I said, it's executed 100%. Although the result is still in progress, you can see the not notification bar up and the Android logo here. The moment the notification bar comes, you're pretty much assured that phone will start. And this is the normal first screen that you saw. And this is where your phone is actually booted into stock show. You. This is what is all about. I hope I was able to help you people. Do like and subscribe these videos in case I just helped you. Uh, that'll be it. Thank you very much.